Hi friends, how are you? This is the Call Donut speaking, and welcome back to some more short maps. Today we're going to be playing Zombie Smash, uh, which was made by uh, a map maker named Salgic. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's S-A-L-G-A-C. A link to his channel and to the map download uh, slash Minecraft forum page will be in the description of the video. Uh, and anyways, the way the game works is... Uh, your goal is to get all three artifacts and build a statue of the majestic zombie giant. Yes, in this adventure map you will find only but only pure zombies, not any creepers or skeletons. On the right side there's a template of what the majestic giant will look like. Uh, giant head, giant body, giant panties. Uh, but while, you, uh, while you're searching for the artifacts, zombies will attack you. So before that you can choose from two classes, warrior and sniper. Uh, here we are. Instructions. Did I pick those up? Nope. Uh, can I not pick them up? Apparently not. Never mind then. Uh, one player game? Select our class. Warrior or sniper? Uh, I'm gonna go with warrior, I think. Uh, that's, that's my plan. Okay, the game will start in ten seconds. You now have time to rearrange your inventory. Unbreaking two, knockback two, sword. All right, in full iron, okay? Fight! Okay, um, so I'm guessing there are lots of mob spawners. Uh, yes, there are. I don't really want to go near those. Ah! Ah! Ah, gosh. Wow, that's a lot of zombies. Running away, running away, running away. Die. Uh, so I don't know where I'm supposed to find the artifacts. I don't know if I get them by killing zombies or... Uh, what the deal is there. On second thought, ranged might have been the way to go. Uh, I don't know. The knockback 2 seems to be working fine, but these baby zombies are kind of a pain. Ah! Ah! Gosh. Zombies are pretty difficult. And I have to say there are surprising numbers of zombie villagers in the area. So I don't know uh, where we're supposed to go to get our artifacts. Again, as I've been saying, uh, are we supposed to head down here? I'm going to guess yes, um, because it's the only location to explore on the map. Uh, but we're going to have a hard time doing that. Uh, yes! Oh my gosh, that's a lot of zombies. Uh, okay, so we can respawn. That's good to know. Now, we're going to need to bring all the zombies up here and out of the tunnel. Oh, and apparently we're going to do that and fall down. Well, we got a sneak peek at what's below. Uh, lots of nice tunnels to explore. Oh, and that's kind of an illegitimate trick because it makes all the zombies despawn. Whoa! Hey, now, stop that. That's not nice. Go away, please. I'm sorry, guys. You're going to have a hard time seeing this right now. Uh, but... We found the giant panties. And lots more giant panties. Must get out. No. I want to live. I want to live. I really want to live. I, I enjoy living. It's very fun. I mean, I mean, staying alive is what all, all the cool people are doing today. Uh, but apparently, that doesn't work for us. I didn't know that. Anyways, there's a door back here. We should probably check this out. All right, and uh, there's a staircase down to a uh, dungeon with lots of mobs and a giant body. The nether gate was opened. What? What? I think I read in the description of this map that there was uh, a nether parkour. So I think that's probably what we're doing here if we can actually, you know, stay alive and get out of here. But that may not be possible. Ah, no, there are so many of them. We can't get out. We, we got out. We got out. Oh, my gosh, and then we died. Okay, giant panties. I think it goes on the... Wait, what? How do I... How do I place it? Oh, I'm in 1.8. I might not be able to place this thing. Uh, because I have to uh, place it... And I think I'm in adventure mode, I would guess. Ah! I made it in. And now there's zombies. Very dangerous and big. Right you are, sir. Nether parkour challenge. Uh, yeah, I'd agree. This is definitely very dangerous and big. Oh, gosh. Can we make it? No! We died. 
Well, that's pleasant. So, I'm thinking this map was definitely uh, not made for Adventure Mode 1.8 because, uh, as I said, you can only place blocks when they have the correct NBT tag for it. We also just fell to our death, which is very pleasant. Uh, yeah, so I can't place this thing. Uh, let's see. One thing I want to try is... Uh, actually, I'll wait until I get the, the head. The giant head. Because once we get that, then my plan, guys, is going to be... Uh, to... To go into game mode, uh... Uh, zero. Survival. And then see if we can make some improvements. In any case, we're gonna focus on not dying to the zombies and getting the giant head first. Uh, so we can get that out of the way. I'm assuming this is possible to make. But we didn't make it. That's alright, though. Anyways, uh, let's head over here. Let's get inside the portal. Come on. Yeah, alright. That was quick. Oh, this is clearly the easiest route to take. Um, it's longer, but it's easier. Because uh, it's just nether brick here that we're looking at. As opposed to lots of three and four and possibly even five. I don't, I mean, I know that's not possible to jump, but that might be how far it is. Uh, all right. Boom. Boom. And we fell. Oh, that was so close. All right. Let's respawn and give it another go. Oh my gosh. There's a baby zombie. No, 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 no. No. Just die. Go away. We're alive. Okay. Run! Run from that baby zombie! Run! 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 Okay, we're alive. Good. Good. I like being alive, uh, in case you haven't noticed. Uh, that That's a lot of fun for me. Uh, anyways, I like this map. This is a cool map. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to take much longer to complete here, considering that we're almost at the giant head. But then again, my parkour skills are pretty poor, so... Uh, for all I know, I might be at this for another uh, ten minutes here. Anyways... There are a lot of zombies. That's bad. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Go away. Go away. All right. Excellent. Woo. All right. Here we are. Let's hop over. Get around the edge here. Boom. Yep. Uh-huh. All right. There we are. Oh, so close. We hit the side. Alright. Uh, there are a lot of zombies now. This is gonna be a challenge. Can we get in the portal? No! Well, hopefully all these zombies will despawn. Okay. There are none. Let's run. Run, run, run. Get in the portal, get in the portal. Punch them out! No! And there are a lot of baby zombies on the portal now. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good uh, difficulty level there of getting into the portal. Alright, there we are. Oh my gosh, zombies! Zombies! Lots of zombies! Go away! Stop it! Stop killing me! Please, please don't do that. That's very unpleasant. Whew. We made it. Okay. And now to see if we can make the uh, big jump here. Ah! I was not expecting to miss that one. I'm sorry. I, I just wasn't. Anyways, running the gauntlet here with a couple of zombies in tow. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Yes! I made it. Alright, is there any other way to go that would be easier? I don't really think so. Ah! Uh, nope. Yeah, I think, honestly, going around the outside to the right is the best way to do this. Um. <clears throat> but it's interesting, knowing that there are many other ways you could try to go. Whether they're right or not, of course, you know, it's up to debate, but... Ah, uh, 
obviously can try the other ways. I mean, I could go this way and then come over to this side, actually. I'm not going to dignify that fall with the response. That, that fall isn't even worth dignification. I'm sorry, it's not. Gosh, that was scary. I'm sorry for screaming so loudly, but that was very scary to me. Um. Anyways, if I can't make this jump, I might actually have to make a cut here. Uh, to when I do. Huh? Oh! Alright, tell you what, guys. Since this is kind of repetitive at this point, uh, I'm gonna make a cut to when I actually make this jump, and I'll be back with you when that happens. So I'll be back with you in a bit. Hi, guys. I just realized I was going the wrong way. This is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 block jump, I believe. This is a, like, 3 block jump. So, anyways, we have a giant head uh, at this point. I'm not even sure if I can make it back. I assume I can. Uh, but the way you were supposed to do it was go that way and then come around. Uh, it took me a while to realize that. Also, uh, I went to a uh, a port uh, and I hosted the game uh, on a land world. Uh, gosh, I'm not thinking what to say at, uh, next. I put the uh, the new blocks down the giant panties and giant body. Uh, so I'm assuming as soon as we place this head down, we will uh, complete the game here. Not sure how we ended up here. Drown yourself. Uh-oh. I don't want to drown. I don't want to drown, though. Oh. Here. What? Hang on. Let me try this again. Very dangerous and big. Let me try going back through again and seeing, uh... Let me see if I still come out here. I do. No. Oh, that's sad. Ugh. That's annoying. Um... You know, guys, um, since, uh, I'm playing on a land world, I think if I die, it's going to show the port this game is being hosted on for the land world in the chat. So what I think I'm going to do is save and quit and then come back and drown myself, uh, just because I don't really want to show that. So I'll be back with you guys in, a, uh, guys in a second. Well, guys, that took a lot of effort. You'll notice there's, uh, there are no pieces of the statue placed on the redstone lamp, and that's because they obstruct my bed when I die. Which means I go back up there, and when I go back up there, uh, and I, I have to get back down here, so by doing that, in order to get back down here, sorry, I have to choose a class which clears my inventory, uh, which means I lose the giant head, so I had to go back through, I'm gonna jump off the side here so all these mobs despawn and I can talk to you for a bit, I have to go back through, and I recollected all the items, and then the issue is when you collect, uh, both the head and the panties again, uh... The nether gate uh, turns off or on, uh, which means that therefore the portal got turned off when I got them again. So I had to break the two pieces again and uh, get them another time to reactivate the nether gate. And then I had to come back in. So anyways, I can finally complete the statue. Huh. There we are. You won! Congratulations! And there's a giant zombie back there. Map created by Solgak. Uh, I did, um, spell it right. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right at all. Uh, I can't see the guy anymore. Maybe he despawned. But anyways, I had a lot of fun there. Uh, certainly an enjoyable map. There were some bugs I encountered. I don't know if they were, uh, because I was playing on 1.8 or if some things were, uh, just bugs... Uh, for the 1.8 version of the map. I mean, it's not technically for 1.8. I think it's for 1.7.2 plus is what it said in the video uh, trailer for it on Solgax's channel. Uh, but anyways, that is my only uh, comment, constructive criticism, uh, whatever you would like to call it, is please deal with that issue of placing uh, down the statue and also your home bed being obstructed when you do place down the statue. Because if people are building the statue as they go, they're going to obstruct their bed, and that causes a serious problem. Otherwise, had a lot of fun with the map. It was a nice map. A cool little ending there with the giant zombie. Uh, 
interesting parkour in the nether because sometimes you can trick yourself into thinking you can make a jump that you actually can't. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to like and subscribe if you did. Uh, make sure to check out Saul Gax, uh map here and his channel. Uh, this has been the Donut speaking. Goodbye, friends, and I will see you all next time with some more short maps.